Welcome to Good Spirit Graphics. Today we're going to look at a new add-on called Script Runner. Script Runner does a couple of things. It helps you run scripts generated by other applications, and it also helps you run scripts when you have outgrown the internal Blender text editor. Let's start off by looking at the first function. If you go to most modern applications that import scripts, there's always an option to let you run the script right from the file menu without having to load it in somewhere and then having to unload it. Script Runner allows you to do this. If you go down to Import, you can simply run a script from the menu. Now some applications, for example, let's switch over to Synthize and we'll see we have a little 3D track going here. Synthize exports to Blender with a script. Now once you go into Blender, you usually have to load the script into the text editor, which would mean switching over to scripting view, loading the script into a window, opening up a new text block, for example, putting it in here and running it. This is kind of cumbersome when you're making a lot of changes from one application to another. So it would be much easier if you could simply run your script from here. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already exported it from Synthize. We'll go ahead and hit Run Script. Here's our script. I've already navigated to the actual file. Hit Run. And there you go. There's our exported scene from Synthize loaded straight in. No need to waste time in the text editor loading and unloading scripts. You want to make a small change in Synthize to it. You just go back here to import and run it again. Now, if you're running a script from another application or just your own script over and over again, going up to the file menu may be kind of a pain because every time you do, you have to re-navigate to where that script is. And if you're switching between a couple of different scripts in different locations, then you have to navigate to each one each time. So Script Runner has another feature. It also appears in the tool shelf. What we can do is simply load up a script, for example, the one from Synthize here, and it will store the path in a slot. Now if we want to run it, we just hit the button and there's our scene. Now you've been hard at work on a script that performs some amazing function, like, I don't know, maybe moves an object up, and you also have another one that does something else. Maybe it moves it back down. Now you want to be able to run these scripts at any time, not by loading them into the text editor, but perhaps even just working in the default view. So let's go ahead and clear out our previous script here. And let's load these new scripts into a couple of slots here. Let's put moving on up in first. Then let's load in moving on down. Now you can run these scripts anytime you want, simply by pressing buttons here on the panel. Now if you restart Blender, these slots will be empty here, so what you're going to want to do is possibly save these so every time you start up a new file, you're going to have your favorite scripts here. So let's go ahead and move on over to the User Preferences window, and you will find Script Runner here under File, Import, Export, and you'll see our paths moving on up, moving on down, are stored in their entirety here. And you'll see there's also room for some more. So why don't we see these here? Because we only have this set to display two scripts. Now I'll show you what happens if we move this around. We can display up to 10 slots. So you can store 10 of your favorite scripts here. And if you want to save them with your user settings, you would just go ahead and hit Save User Settings. Then go back to here. Let's go ahead and start up our default file. Let's see here. File New. Reload Startup File. And if we go ahead and open up our Script Runner panel, you'll see that moving on up and moving on down are now stored here as part of our file. If you shut off Blender and restart it, they'll always be there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some more options here under User Preferences. 
we'll go back to import export and narrow the list here a little bit just by typing script runner here and you'll see that we get a few other options with script runner our paths are saved here and script runner will appear in a couple different places you can make it appear in the 3d view on the tool shelf or you can make it appear in the text editor tool shelf it has one more option here which is it allows you to set what kind of error messages you get out of the console if I bring over the console you may be familiar with getting error messages out here some of them can be quite lengthy if you leave this off then script runner will simplify the error messages and only give you the last relevant one click on verbose error messages and you will get the whole list now if you start writing scripts that involve more than 100 or 200 lines you're going to find that you are constantly scrolling around in the text editor trying to find one place or another place the script isn't too bad this is the one for script runner and it's a little under a thousand lines but if you have to copy and paste something you're going to find that you are copying and then scrolling and scrolling and where is the spot well the reason you're doing this is because the internal text editor has no bookmarks it also has no collapsible code blocks so it makes working in here really a pain after a while you put up with it because you want to run your scripts from here and you don't want to have the same script open here in blender that you have open at the same time in an external editor now i recommend using notepad plus plus if you're on windows it has all the features i talked about a second ago which include collapsible code blocks so you can go ahead and find each section you want then just open up that one particular section find the spot you want say here maybe even put a bookmark here then go down to another spot and another code block maybe put another bookmark here and then simply go back and forth between the two spots by hitting the bookmark navigation button now why don't you want to just use the blender internal text editor to run your script and just write it over here well because these two are going to fall in and out of sync sometimes you may save it here you're going to have to reload it over here vice versa if you forget and make a change over here notepad plus plus is pretty good about telling you that the file has been saved and changed somewhere else but this becomes also another pain and you don't want to have to worry about that so i wrote script runner primarily so i could simply keep the script in one spot not even ever have it in here if you want to keep your text editor layout here because you're using this other incredible add-on called breakpoint which lets you debug your code then you go ahead and load your main script from notepad plus plus right here here it is script runner you would simply load it here make your edits over in notepad plus plus and whenever you want to run it simply run it from here now if you look in the blender documentation you will find that this issue of using an external editor has come up before and there are a couple suggestions on how you can run your scripts from an external editor but all of them have drawbacks where you have to open up a text block put some code in and then there are limitations where the stored scripts have to be in the blender file paths that are searched when blender looks for modules so this means you can't store your files wherever you want script runner does away with all this it will load your scripts from anywhere on your computer i hope you enjoy script runner i know i do i can sit here and move things around all day go ahead and download script runner and enjoy writing scripts with the freedom you don't get from the internal blender text editor